Hi everybody, Randy Wakeman here, out in the middle of nowhere, with some healthy looking corn, and uh, the beans are looking great too. Why am I here? Did I get lost? Well, here's what we're trying to do. You've heard all the claims about uh, more pellets on target. Many, many gun manufacturers have claimed better patterns, whatever a better pattern is supposed to be, denser patterns all this type of nonsense due to bore diameter, forcing cone length, uh, cryogenic treatment, all kinds of interesting, uh, some pretty wild claims, but no hard data to show if that's of any value at all to the regular hunter. So, what we have is uh, a 12 foot shoot and see target set up at a laser verified 40 yards courtesy of my Nikon rangefinder and I'm going to use uh, one ounce Peters 1290 foot per second number seven and a half shot shot shells so we're going to use the same range the same target and the same shot shells and the same nut behind the butt, me and me, same sight picture, same shooter. Additionally, we're using the same choke constriction. Now this Rite Antalya with the factory modified choke as measured uh, with my Skeet's bore gauge, both the bore diameter and the choke, uh, gives you a 20 thousandths constriction on the nose. That's a modified choke, 20 thousandths constriction. So that's the idea. We're going to take three shots. Down here at 40 yards. And the claim is more pellets on target or more impacts depending on who you read. So, we'll take our three shots and we'll see if there is anything uh, that can be shown. And then I'll repeat this with shotgun number two, which is a fab arm, L4S. Also, identical constriction, 20 thousandths constriction, which is the factory fab arm 5 slash 10 choke. And we'll see if we can learn something. Shot number one. Shot number two. That was our three shots. And what I'm going to do is pull the paper and count pellets 
and we'll do the same thing with a different shotgun, the fab arm. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with a fab arm, L4S. Same exact range, same exact shell. Peter's one ounce, 1290 foot per second, seven and a half. And same 20 thousandths constriction choke. So we're trying to think, we're, we're trying to keep things as consistent as possible. Now, this of course will give us a three shot average. Uh, one shot, a one shot pattern doesn't mean anything at all, as patterns can vary by anywhere from 10 to 20 percent shot to shot. So, 10 shots would be better, 20 shots would be better yet. Uh, but if there's something obvious, something that uh, the regular hunter or shooter uh, can get value from, this will do it. So, three shots with a fab arm. Same constriction choke, same everything else. We'll see what happens. Shot number one. Shot number two. There we go, three shots. So we'll go pull the paper and count pellets. So we'll see, uh, see which gun, if any, put more pellets on target. Pretty straightforward. All right. After all this uh, perspiration and counting, we have two targets. This is the Rite. Three shots, one ounce, seven and a half meters. This is the Fab Arm. So, by actually counting pellets, let's see who put more pellets on target. That's the ad brag. Well, the results are probably going to surprise you. Here's the Rite 20,000 choke. I told them up. 211 pellets. 211 pellets from three shots. 20,000 constriction, 40 yards. That's 211 pellets. How did the fab arm do? 214 pellets. After all these shots, yes, the fab arm won. The fab arm won by three pellets. The Rite put 211 pellets. The fab arm, 214. I can't call that significant. Uh, they're both, they both give uh, similar performance as to what you would expect from a good quality shell at a 20 thousandths constriction. So any claims of 5, 10, 20 percent, uh, good luck, that's uh, about as close as you can possibly get. Well, I said, what in the world after three shots of seven and a half shot, uh, how can this possibly be a difference? Because the shot count from shell to shell varies a few pellets. But anyway, that's what we have. 211 pellets for the Rite, 214 pellets through the Fab Arm. So when you do your own tests with your own shells and your own guns, you'll, you'll see that all these claims of uh, wildly uh, better patterns or more pellets on target, that's the trendy thing. You know, Rite has said, I think, 20% more pellets on target. Uh, Benelli's is, what, 13.2%. You can read whatever you want, read the catalogs. They say all kinds of crazy things. But it's nothing that I can see, nothing that I can duplicate. So this is a good barometer. You know, I could, uh, maybe I will repeat it. I don't really enjoy counting pellets all that much, but uh, I, can, I can try it with a half dozen other 12 gauges with 20,000 constriction chokes and see if there's 
a tremendous difference, but uh, I've never seen it. Maybe somebody else can, can make that claim, but uh, I've never seen it, nor do I, is there any explanation why a 20,000 constriction choke from uh, one manufacturer or, uh, or one barrel would be any different than the other. It's just not there. So, hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure you enjoyed it more than, than I did. But uh, have fun. Thanks for stopping by. I've never asked people to hit the like button or subscribe button, but this time I am. So please do if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll try to do more for you before, well, dove season is just a few weeks away. So it's, it's going to be hunting time. So anyway, thanks for stopping by.